Mr. Beast members who were cut and why? What happens when the most beloved YouTube crew crumbles? Well, prepare to be captivated by the meteoric rise and devastating fall of the once unbreakable Mr. Beast crew. With their extraordinary stunts and unparalleled generosity, they dominated the YouTube landscape. But as their popularity grew, internal conflicts began to unravel the very fabric of their tight-knit group. From hidden grudges and bitter rivalries to explosive confrontations, the crew seemed to be shattered by rumors, drama, and the weight of their own success. Join us as we peel back the layers, revealing the cut members and the shocking secrets and intense conflicts that led to their leaving. The Mr. Beast crew has encountered a series of unexpected departures, with a total of nine members so far either publicly fired or disappearing without explanation. Let's start with Matt Turner. In the world of YouTube celebrities where drama and controversies often make headlines, Matt Turner's departure from his position at Mr. Beast stirred up quite a storm. Initially hired as an editor for Mr. Beast in 2018, Matt's journey seemed promising. After five months, he decided to part ways with them and even released a video on his personal channel titled, Why I Quit Working for Mr. Beast. In his video, he expressed gratitude for the experience and considered Mr. Beast not only a boss, but also a friend. However, things took an unexpected turn about a year and two months later when Matt took to Twitter to share a different perspective. He claimed that his time as an editor for Mr. Beast had left him mentally drained, alleging instances of being yelled at, bullied, and made to feel replaceable. These accusations sent shockwaves through the YouTube community. While Matt had initially spoken positively about his time at Mr. Beast in his video, he now revealed that his editing role had taken a toll on his mental health. He shared that he often felt like a complete idiot due to editing mistakes, causing him to feel exhausted and inadequate. Unfortunately for Matt, the public wasn't as supportive as he had probably expected. In response to Matt's callout, many people came to Mr. Beast's defense, questioning the timing and validity of Matt's allegations. Some argue that if he had truly experienced such mistreatment, why hadn't he spoken up earlier or mentioned it in his initial video where he left the company? Popular YouTube YouTuber Keemstar brought back attention to the positive video Matt had previously made and noted how this was a big contrast to his subsequent negative remarks on Twitter. Others who have worked for Mr. Beast joined in and shared their positive experiences, painting a different picture of him as a kind and pleasant person to collaborate with. In the midst of the controversies, Matt eventually deleted his tweets and asserted that his Twitter account had been hacked. This twist only added fuel to the already fiery discussion discussion, leaving people divided in their opinions and reactions. Some continued to stand by Mr. Beast, while others questioned Matt's motives and the timing of his decision to speak out. In another video, he offered a somewhat lukewarm apology to Mr. Beast, stating that if anyone was offended by his remarks, he apologized. However, YouTuber prison mate Luke dismissed it as a hollow gesture, leaving doubts regarding the sincerity of his words. Interestingly, despite the backlash and criticism, Matt Turner didn't disappear from the YouTube scene entirely. He just shifted his content focus to van life and continued uploading videos, albeit with significantly reduced viewers. But as a consequence of his actions, Matt's chance to establish a successful YouTube career took a hit. His views rapidly declined, and he became associated with being the person who made false accusations against Mr. Beast. This tarnished his reputation and left him with a constant battle to regain the trust of his audience and he wasn't the only one. Fly Does YT also found himself joining the ranks of individuals who attempted to expose Mr. Beast, but faced severe consequences in return. In a video titled, My Experience Editing for Mr. Beast, Worst Week of My Life, Fly made shocking allegations accusing Mr. Beast of faking content and even claiming that Mr. Beast didn't appear in his own videos. This bold move ignited a firestorm of controversy. Mr. Beast swiftly responded to Fly's accusations on Twitter, vehemently denying the allegations and defending his integrity. He pointed to his financial contributions to streamers and other charitable acts as evidence of his genuine efforts. Mr. Beast pointed out that skeptics could easily reach out to the 
the recipients to verify his authenticity. To address the situation more comprehensively, Mr. Beast made an appearance on Drama Alert, a popular YouTube show. During the interview, he expressed his disappointment in Fly's claims, stating that they were completely false. Mr. Beast addressed the specific instances mentioned by Fly and provided plausible explanations for his absence in certain videos. He then revealed that he had been battling Crohn's disease, a chronic health condition which occasionally prevented him from fully participating in video shoots. One particular video Mr. Beast highlighted was the Willy Wonka challenge, where he was simultaneously involved in another challenge and couldn't be present throughout the entire filming. He stressed that such situations were exceptions, and he would occasionally refrain from appearing in videos due to personal or health-related matters, much like anyone might miss filming due to important family obligations or illness. Mr. Beast expressed his frustration at Fly's exaggerations and attempts to exploit his illness as an excuse for his absence. Fly does YT's accusations against Mr. Beast ultimately backfired, drawing negative attention, and while Fly had achieved a moderate level of success on his channel with over 300,000 subscribers, his actions jeopardized his reputation within the YouTube community. In response to all the drama, a former employee stepped forward, revealing their friendship with both Mr. Beast and Fly. They expressed their disapproval of Fly's approach and emphasized that a peaceful resolution with Mr. Beast would always be the most beneficial path. They cited the example of Jake the Viking, another former member who had successfully maintained a positive relationship with Mr. Beast despite parting ways. Unlike some of his fellow crew members, Jake the Viking's departure from Mr. Beast's team was a relatively peaceful one. Jake had been a prominent figure in Mr. Beast's video since June 2018, known for his strong character and physical abilities that made him an ideal fit for the content being produced at the time. However, as the direction of the content shifted away from physical challenges in early 2020, Jake's appearances became less frequent. In January of the following year, Jake made his final appearance in the $60,000 Extreme Hide and Seek Challenge. Following that, he noticed a lack of communication regarding his involvement in future videos, even though he remained on the payroll. Uncertainty about his role within the evolving content landscape prompted Jake to make a decision he chose to venture into his own content creation and establish his own brand. In a viral video titled Why I Left Mr. Beast, Jake openly shared the circumstances surrounding his departure. He emphasized that there was no falling out or animosity between him and Mr. Beast. Instead, he expressed a desire to be his own boss and carve out his own identity rather than being known solely as that guy from every Mr. Beast video. Jake wanted to explore his creativity, challenge himself, in new ways and take control of his of his own destiny. It was a mutual decision between him and Mr. Beast, and he made it clear that he still held respect and love for Mr. Beast as a person and a creator. With his peaceful exit and a recognizable image from his time with Mr. Beast, Jake was able to successfully launch his own YouTube channel and find success in his independent content creation. His departure garnered mixed emotions from Mr. Beast's fans, with many expressing sadness sadness about his absence and wondering if he would ever return. However, the majority of fans understood and supported Jake's decision to pursue his own path, recognizing his desire for personal growth and creative autonomy. Chandler, another former member, also chose to leave in order to focus on personal growth and apply the valuable lessons he had learned while working with Mr. Beast. Similarly, Kate departed the team in search of new opportunities and challenges, expressing appreciation for the experiences she had had and the personal growth she achieved during her time with Mr. Beast. Sneeko, who initially gained recognition for his impressive videos while part of the team, had a relatively short tenure, but maintained a respectful attitude towards Mr. Beast even after his departure. But with every amicable departure, a less than pleasant one seemed to lurk around the corner. Take Marcus Pearson, for instance. Fans were left stunned and curious when they noticed the glaring absence of Marcus Pearson, one of the key members of the Mr. Beast crew 
from their recent videos. The speculations reached an all-time high as everyone wondered what had happened behind the scenes, and when the truth finally emerged, fans were shocked. Marcus had been fired by Mr. Beast, and this was no amicable departure. And it didn't help that Marcus's version of events didn't sit well with most fans. He took to Instagram to post a rant filled with baseless claims after being removed from the team. His claims of mistreatment and hints at racial bias were met with many raised brows. On the other hand, the fan base seemed to believe that his departure was a direct consequence of his alleged struggles with substance abuse. Despite speculations surrounding Marcus's behavior and potential issues with drugs, no concrete evidence was available to substantiate these claims. After the incident, Marcus's online presence significantly diminished. There are also several other members who never showed up again with no explanation. Ty, for example, who gained attention after being picked up on the side of the road for a video, seemingly disappeared from the scene without any clear explanation. His absence left fans wondering about his whereabouts and the reasons behind his departure. Another crew member, Tyler Conklin, also vanished from the team without a detailed explanation, leaving fans speculating about the circumstances surrounding his exit. The lack of information surrounding their departures has contributed to the mystery and curiosity surrounding these individuals as fans would love to know what actually went down. In addition to Ty and Tyler, there have been other former members who have left the team. Marcus, for instance, was fired by Mr. Beast due to his involvement with illegal substances. After his dismissal, he expressed his anger towards Mr. Beast in a rant which further fueled the controversy surrounding his departure. While the departures of certain former members have been surrounded by controversies, the majority of individuals who have left the Mr. Beast team have moved on to pursue new ventures. Mr. Beast himself continues to be known for his generosity and support towards his team, fostering an environment that has allowed many to grow and thrive. So what do you think about the Mr. Beast crew and the departure of of old members? Tell us what you think of their breakup in the comments down below.